All right. I am so excited that you guys decided to click the link and actually bring the page of the story alive. I have here with me our board member, Dr. Colleen Meyer. And if Hello. you're anything like me, you know Dr. Colleen as an educator based on her earned PhD. But did you know that she is also a social media maven? And I got to find that out. And, you know, COVID has made it so weird. Our chapter, usually vibrant, having our monthly meetings, getting to know each other and parcel over in the corner, that hasn't really happened. So I thought, since we are coming kind of off the heels of our wonderful AWE awards, for those of you that were there, you got to see Dr. Colleen, but you didn't really get to hear about it. So what I wanted to do is talk about her as her. <laughs> and I know that that's going to sound weird, but there are some things that I have found out about. And since we only network once a month or whatever, um, I wanted to break down the wall, break down the barrier and just share a few things. And Dr. Colleen, you can share what you'd like. But first of all, I would like to know how we came up with this new avenue, I guess, which is Meyer and Mint. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, well, my, I've done consulting for years and years and years. And, um, and part of that consulting was marketing. And then when I went out and I became a professor at a, a private university in Orange County, I was the Dean of Business and Marketing and I was teaching marketing classes. So I had done marketing in the past, when we were consulting in my, you know, I have 30 years background in operations management and marketing. Wow. And so I just decided, you know what? We, you know, we have COVID, everybody's pivoting. I've already started, I was already starting to pivot, but I just think it's, you know, we really stepped forward with the social media marketing and digital marketing aspect of our company, because this is where, where everybody's going after, yeah. you know, things are not going to be completely back to normal when we come out of this COVID yeah. completely. That was I'm sorry, but that was one of the reasons why out of our chapter, I kind of wanted to take a moment and put you first. Thank because you. Because with most of us coming out of COVID, whatever that means, mm -hmm. um, we're still going to have to hold on to those nuggets from learning how to position ourselves in the social media room mm -hmm. and get clients that way. So I wanted to just, again, pull back the curtain, mm -hmm. make it like we're having a just free for all conversation and let's just have at it and just make sure that you guys as members if you need this is what we do here at nava we network mm -hmm. if That's you right. need some support it's right here it's a board member right here so what would you suggest the first thing is like if, if we go back into quote offices mm -hmm. how can we keep our social media presence or how can we balance them well i think the first thing to do is um determine who your customer is i think that's number one and and I, people think that they know but they don't you know I, I was working with a a person that was a physical therapist mm -hmm. and uh he i said to him well who's your customer and he said everybody well not everybody is your customer so you can narrow it down. Now, a physical therapist, you can have, you know, a child that needs them all the way up to a senior citizen, but that's not the majority of who your customer is. So do your research, do your buyer persona or personas and determine who your client is. Once you determine who your client is, then you have to figure out how to create content to target those customers on social media. <coughs> Excuse me. When I say content, I don't mean posting, posting, posting. I'm talking about creating a two week to a month long calendar of content. Wow. You know, you want to mix it between a be the expert, um, create a motivational post, you know, give, give an offering. You know, it's, there's so much to it. If you just throw something together and post it, they're going to know that it is thrown together, thrown together and posted. <laughs> so there has to be a lot of thought process behind it, but knowing your customer and creating content that attracts that customer. Who, 
would you say is your main customer? I mean, my main customer, it would be, well, I shoot for businesses that make um, $5 million or less. So I, I work with small businesses a year okay. and we have price ranges for, you know, all budgets for startups and for businesses that are in, in the, um, you know, they're kind of in the, the uh, baby stage, I would say, and then into the, um, where they're flat with growth, but they're not huge because a lot of big companies have HR people, they have marketing people, they don't, you know, but then you have the small business that doesn't have any access to any of those. So we want to be able to be able to provide a service to those people, because I think those people are kind of the ones that are kind of left out there without any type of marketing or being able to afford marketing. Yeah. And so, you know, Dr. Colleen, I think that being a part of NABO, <laughs> we know that we want to network. We know mm -hmm. that we want to mix and mingle with each other. But COVID was crazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it threw a lot of us off, mm -hmm. not only from a professional perspective, but mm -hmm. also from a networking perspective within the organization. Yes. And then all of a sudden, it gave us the opportunity to go all the way to New York and be a part of one of their meetings or mm -hmm. go to San Diego and be a part of their meeting. So in light of the fact that it threw us for a loop and then it opened us up, mm -hmm. how would you say or suggest that we as NABO members move forward utilizing and leveraging this newfound freedom from you know, social media as well as maybe even this, what we're doing now, we're mm -hmm. taking a video and we're embedding it into our management. So how can we move forward in this? Well, it's, it's gonna continue. So it's not going to go away. And they're saying in, in the future, uh, uh, digital marketing will be the fourth on the scale of, you know, if you say the top five companies, it will be the fourth type of company in demand. So it's not going to go away, social media. And, it's a way that you can connect to your clients, you know, sort of uh, almost like a personal type of a relationship. So in other words, going live on Facebook, creating videos for Facebook, people can see you, people get to know you, they feel like they know you like we do with, you know, we'll see a singer or an actor or actress, but like, oh, we think we know them because we see them so much. And it's a building relationships and that's not going to go away. Mm -hmm. So we need to embrace it. We need to embrace going live. We need to embrace of this new type of media, because think about this for a minute, where in all of the time a business has been, you know, from the beginning of time, all the way through the industrial revolution, all the way up into now, right? Mm -hmm. When have we been able to put our company in the palm of the hand of, of a customer at any time, day or night, putting our, 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 our product and our name and our brand? It's not gonna go away. That's true. So, you know, I mean, to that point, I think that now would be the best time that mm -hmm. if you do not have a strategy for social media, perhaps to reach out to Colleen, because, and, you know, I am guilty of this. I will just share with you guys as novel members, I reached out to Colleen. I asked her to do something with me. We did it. Next thing I know, I'm getting all this traffic on my site. And I said, well, what happened? Where'd this come from? I didn't know she was putting her little sprinkling fairy dust all, all around. So I have a client that is uh, working with me. There are some areas that I wanted to expose her in. I knew I was not capable of doing it. So I hired Colleen. Now my client is Colleen's client because mm -hmm. she has shown that the social media space for those of us that are a little bit social media adverse you know, we want to play on Instagram, we want to look at Facebook, but we don't really want to be out there. What mm -hmm. would be a first step for someone, a member right now who is like, oh my God, I'm brick and mortar. I was dying trying to put up my Zoom and Teams and all this, that and the mm -hmm. other. And now you're telling me I need to have a social media presence. What? I'm brick and mortar. Just in a really quick snippet, tell us what 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 what's the first thing they should do? What, well, the first thing they do is they got to make sure they have a uh, operation, a strategic operational plan to drive their business forward, and you have to have that combined with your marketing. So they have to work together. 
So once they have their strategic plan, if they don't have one, I can help them um, create that. We combine their strategy with their marketing, and then we move forward creating a budget. People, it's funny, people always look at marketing. I'm going to spend money on marketing. We're going to spend money. No, you're not spending money. You're investing money into marketing. Uh, like so, that. you know, yeah, you get your strategy, your marketing, you know, they have to be partners, partners in the game of business. And just get out there and they can give me a call and we'll, we'll create a plan and we'll get them out there and exposed to the all right customer. All right. I think that that is exactly where we want to be because again, guys, it's great to be a part of a international organization, but if mm -hmm. you are not working it and it is not working you, it's just kind of like, you're just a part of an organization. It is our desire to make sure that not only do our members benefit from their membership, but it's also our desire that you make money and that you grow and that your business grows. And what better way to do that than to utilize the resources that we have, not only within our local chapter, but within Novo as a whole. So I thank you so very much, Dr. Colleen, for thank you. bringing the article to life. I know, right? <laughs> and I thank you guys for uh, sticking with us and reading each and every month as we bring you what we believe is really, really good and useful content in our NABO IE magazine. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate you. Yeah. And